Welcome. Uh, February is Heart Month. I hope everyone had a, a beautiful Valentine's Day yesterday. And uh, I, I just want to talk about heart health tip. I believe we're at heart health tip number 11 now. So it's uh, time is flying here. So I want to talk about this tip is important to understand that artery disease and heart failure is reversible. So many people think that it's not reversible. It is. But what is not reversible is structural disease. So let's just take a moment here to quickly explain this. When we talk about heart disease, many people think of the arteries, like the inside of the arteries. Now you know that they're a skin inside the lining of the artery walls. Uh, it's a muscle that expands and contracts. You can feel them in different spots in the body. Now, the concern is, is that when you look at these arteries, you can reverse the disease process. So that's number one. Number two, if you have heart failure as a result of this blockages, that also can be reversible. But if you have a structural defect, such as, uh, um, uh, a valvular disease or something like that, then then that has to be fixed uh, most often with surgery. And there are non-invasive ways and, and uh, um, surgical ways to do that. So again, so to reiterate, there's the plumbing of the heart, but arteries are not a pipe, they're a muscle. There's the, um, there's the electrical signal of the heart. So that could be uh, electrical imbalances or they could be structural related. Now, some things structurally can be reversed if it's heart failure, but if it's structural due to valvular disease, then it needs to be fixed uh, on that end of it. So this is heart health tip number, uh, I believe we're at 11, gosh. Uh, make sure that you understand that this disease is reversible. So make sure you can prevent and reverse that disease process. This is Diamond Fernandez, and we look forward to providing you some, continuing to provide you some great tips here this month. Uh, we look forward to helping you live happier, healthier, and longer.